Fish in Canada, brought to you in part by Coleman, the outdoor company. Muscal, repulsive since 1951. Princecraft Boats, the more you know, the better we look. And Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. For over a quarter of a century now, I've pursued fish all over this great country of ours. However, there's one place that captivates me more than any other, and that's Northern Ontario. Oh sure, maybe there's more exotic places nestled in a mountain somewhere, but for pure fishing, there's no place like this. <laughs> I joined Ange in this shoot because I just love the thought of fishing in a place that few will ever wet a line in, and because I love the species we're after, big aggressive pike. Now normally, an angler would have to travel to the Yukon, northern Manitoba, or even Northwest Territories to experience pike like we were about to. This spot, however, is only a day's drive from Toronto. Our trip starts with about a two-hour flight north from Hearst, Ontario, in a Turbo Otter. Hearst Air is a family-owned and run company and have built a reputation as one of the premier fly-in services in all of northern Ontario. Looking out the Otter's window, I figured it was safe to say we're about to enter into no man's land. Our game plan? Look for back channels that stray off the main river. Since we're here after the spring spawn, big pike need a resting area that they can easily feed in. These back channels lack the current that the main river pushes every second of the day. This is where the big northern pike should be. Hang on to them. Don't lose them, they give you enough chances. <laughs> You've got your hands mended up and you're already into them. <laughs> Just this one's strong fish for a little guy. Yeah, that fish has got some, some power. You need help with him, and he's hooked on the outside. Excellent. Look at him. Look. Where's that glove? On the outside, baby. Nice. <laughs> They're cool. That's the first cast of that two back in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get about that side every time, Mr. Viola. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Unpin him, Kurt. Whoa! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> There's no trailer hooks on this? Nope. I got them. You're gonna have to do the job again on them, but I can't do it. You took it away, look at this. I'm gonna hold the leader up. Hang on, watch. Can you see it? Yep, got it. There you go. Beauty. Look at, look at. Look at the tail oh of a walleye. Yeah, huge walleye tail in here. <laughs> you can't, probably can't see him. <laughs> Now, Pete and I have done our fair share of fishing for big northern pike right across Canada. And we both feel that the Ottawa Piscat River is one of those great fisheries that's going to be hard to beat. No matter where you go, casting big baits to huge nasty fish, you tell me, what's better than that? Oh, yeah. That has got to be a good fish. I know, but that anchor rope is not sounding too good. Oh, great. the anchor rope. Oh, no, I can't even help you out, buddy. Is he in it? He's on it. Oh, I think he's in it, yeah. Okay, hang on. I'll come up there and give you a hand. I don't think we're going to get this fish in. Unless he comes around this way. If he comes around this way, we'll be okay. No, he's still wrapped. Damn anchors. I hate anchors when you're doing this kind of stuff with big fish. Oh, here he's off. He's off, Pete. He's oh, off. Good. That's a nice fish. Good. That's a nice fish. Oh, oh nice and easy. <laughs> Can you imagine that? He got that around that nice. anchor rope. He's probably going to get around it again. I might move back once. Yeah, come on back. Get away from the rope. That tire, oh, he's big. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. He gets around the anchor rope and we get How him off. How did he come off? Uh, he, you know what? He did one, like he didn't go right around it yet, fully. So he did right, like around wow. like this and then he came back Boy, around. Boy, did we get lucky on that or what? Yeah, you know what? The good thing is it tired him out a bit too. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably but right. But he's got he's definitely, not, he's, oh, not, he's not done. He got a run left in him for he's sure. He's not done. I'm just going to sit down right here and wait him out. He just turned like a shark. Look at the head on him. That, that thing would have been huge late in the year. You imagine him in the fall? Yeah. Oh, death roll. Oh, yeah. Croc. I think you got him on top as well. No. No, no just the trailer hook. Yeah, the trailer's inside. I should be able to get him off fairly easy. That's a good looking fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, I'm going to, I don't think he's ready, but. No, but let's try him. I'll work him towards ye. I don't know what I got to do here. It's very hard to get this current. There you go. What? Right yeah, wrong there. side, but. I got to be real careful not to touch his gills, eh? There you go. That's the problem when you're doing this, huh? Yeah. Got him. 
You got him, That's buddy. Nice, buddy. Oh. That's, nice. That's a nice big long fish, isn't he? A oh. Beautiful looking creature. God, he's now, perfect. Can you, can you uh Yeah, I can pop that hook. Pliers are right down here between my legs here. Excuse me? <laughs> you, <laughs> you wish. There you go. Well, he's hooked perfect. Yeah, he's got his mouth shut on it. That's the problem now. Oh boy. Big boy. Oh. Look at pretty. that fish. How long is that fish? I don't know. We got nothing to measure him with. No, we got nothing to measure. I would say that fish has got to go 30, 37, oh, 38. At least. Right? Yeah. That's sweet. Oh, yeah. Good, he good, he good. bit on the, on the back hook, a little stinger hook on the back of the spinner bait. He popped it. Look what he did with the spinner bait. Straightened her out nice. Oh, that sounded great. Yeah. Woo! Little guy. That sounded awesome. Oh, it's a nice fish. It nice fish. Big, yeah. <laughs> nice fish, buddy. <laughs> hey, when you said little guy, I thought, no. It had too good a sound to it. He's on that trailer, too, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Wake everybody up. Oh, yeah. Wake up the dad. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Get our stuff moved around. Whoa. You've got to love that sound right there. Whoa. He's got a, a hump on his back. Whoa, he's, he's a dromedary. That too. Why do you have to take it on that side, fish? That is going to be ugly. So he's only got the one prong in him, eh? Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? Big player. <laughs> 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 the size of the head on this thing, buddy. <laughs> he's a big one. You know what? He's just hanging on, eh? Is he? Yeah, he's just hanging on by that one little hook and it could pull out of him any minute. I don't think we got it in the bone. Okay, let's see what we got to look at that. Oh here. boy, be very careful, buddy. Oh, he got him hooked good. Yeah? I got to go on the other side of him. Yes! You <laughs> well, you got it hooked real good. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you big skank! He got away! <laughs> oh, you caught me too. You okay, man? Oh yeah. Whoo! Look at she got me. He got you. They, yeah, those big yeah. ones always do, eh? Yeah. And I grabbed her with this hand. How do you figure that one out? So her stair operation has been uh, evolving over the years. Uh, started from one aircraft operation with my father uh, flying and doing all of the uh, the groundwork. And as we grew older, we were able to get involved with the business. So I take care of the uh, air operations side. And, uh, my sister, Melanie, takes care of the bookings and all the ground operations. And uh, my father is heavily involved in flying and, uh, and all the day-to-day -day runnings of the uh, air service. We have uh, nine outpost camps. Uh, we have uh, five of our own. And we have four in partnership with Harry Baxter, who are up to about five or six hundred people a year and I've been doing it for 34 years so that's quite a few, a few people. Is he a good one? Well I'll tell you what he sounded good. Oh. He's long. Oh that's a good one. That's better. Oh look at the tail on him. I don't know where he's taking us. Well I gotta turn. Oh nice fish. Oh man that's nice. This guy's skinnier and longer. Longer, yeah. Wow. All I want to know is which side you hook him on this time. Or oh, the nose. He's, oh, he's Beautiful. not skinnier, buddy. Let's see if I can get him around for you. There he is. Beautiful. There now we go. we're going to work on him. <sighs> nice. How are you going to pick that guy up? You know what the best part of this is? Is that the walleye bite right now for a great walleye fishery is off. The mayfly hatch yep. is on. So the walleye yep. fishing is tough, right? You get your shorelines fish. Yeah. So then you, we, who, who wants to go walleye fishing when you get these exactly. great big pigs like this? I don't like understand this? that. A it's lot of great. people say that. Oh no, how's the walleye fishing? And if it's not there, they don't go. But I got to tell oh, you what, man. how this, could you turn this, this down? This is the best backup to a, a walleye fishery oh. you'll ever have in your life. <laughs> Look at that fish. Oh boy. Oh, you got a good, you got a hook perfect for me to grab yeah. it, buddy. Yeah, perfect. yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not done yet. That's a 18 to 20 pound pike. Right yeah, there. for sure. <sighs> Oh boy, that fish is hooked. Oh man, boy, that's on the tip of his nose, huh? Nostrils in that fish. You can't put your hand around his back. Nostril domus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Man, look, look at the him go. skate across the surface. He's a surface skater. Oh, and, you man. know, and to even imagine there's a bigger fish in this Exactly. Gear. Come on, mama. Okay. Okay. I think Careful, I buddy. Put your line up a bit, Ange. Put yeah. Your... She's shaking. She's ugly with me. Oh. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh. Dude. That's as big as you that are. That's a big old clunker. <laughs> Okay, real quick, Gans, I want you to get the yep. pliers on her yep. and get her back because she's yep. probably a little tired. Look at that guy. Oh, beautiful. He was up in the shallows here. Nice. Nice. Nice, buddy. You're pulling us out. Look at, we're in the middle of the bay already. <laughs> I'm not pulling anybody, but this dude is. We're in the middle of the bay. Look at that. Oh, I <laughs> love when they rip drag like that. Look at him back and forth. Like a mad dog. Oh. He's gonna get me Whoa. wet. He's gonna get me wet. Look at this. That's that, a nice fish, man. Yeah, he's yanking. That's another good 40 inch fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a 40. Oh. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice baby. head. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's what you come up this place for, buddy, Look right there. Oh. Here's my boat. Swoosh. 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 No, oh, no. There. That's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> I mean, I got, and you know what? We got heavy flipping rods here, Ange and I are using. We got a uh, 80 pound fluorocarbon leader. Yeah, I was going to say that. I got 60 to 85 pound braid. Look at that. He could cut that leader at any given time, though. It's right in his mouth, isn't it? It is. Whoa. It is, too. Yeah, he's going to. We'll see how good that leader material is. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I love it when they do that. Yeah, that's the best. When they rip straight out and pull the line right in behind them. Man, oh, oh man. boy, he could cut me big time. Okay, baby. Oh, Come work with that's me. That's a gorgeous pike. Mm, 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 mm. Just watch yeah, that. Yeah, it hooks all the way on, on, on to the other side. Come on. Be a nice break. Oh, oh, oh damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, but. Oh, well. I what he did, that did you see that? Wow. I almost had him. Oh, he's up there again? Yeah. No, he laid beside the boat? Yeah. No way. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it splashes down like a log. Oh, yeah, baby. There he is. That's where they are. <laughs> oh, he didn't come up to the surface, though. He just slurped no. it down. I see a white spot. There he goes. He just realized. Oh, he just realized. He just realized he's hooked, buddy. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. Oh, my fight God. Left you. Oh, <laughs> baby. Nice. <laughs> Big. Oh, he ate you. Look he at He ate it. He ate it. Completely gone. <laughs> <laughs> Was that any good? Wow. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, braided line was designed for a particular fish. It was designed for it these things. Really doesn't helps it? you out on this kind of oh, stuff. Oh man, does it ever. Really helps you muscle them in. Look at you. Look at you. It's you and me, pal. <laughs> oh, you're getting cocky with them, are you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what he's going to oh, do to me. Oh, man. Okay, now. He's done? Yeah, now he's going to be workable. Okay. Nice and easy. Like careful, buddy. He's going to give me one good shot. Yeah, man. you be careful, man. I don't know if I'm going to get him in yet this time or not. No. Oh, you got him. Nice one. <laughs> Big green monster. There you go. Beautifully Beautiful. colored, too, huh? Pop, nope. Oh, Come man. Come on, big girl. There she goes. Good work, buddy. One thing that you can always count on when fishing northern pike is some vicious hits and attacks anywhere from a full cast away to right beside the boat. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! He hit the boat! <laughs> Did you see him coming in? <laughs> I'm bringing it here. Look at See the wave? Yeah. He came from there. Right at it. Wow. And went right at it. Oh my god. Wow. These fish are kamikaze, but. They are insane fish. Oh my god. That was bizarre. He hit the boat. I felt him hit yeah, the boat. Yeah, he hit the boat. 
Boy, that's nice. Oh, long, thin. Long and skinny guy, eh? Long, thin. Hang on, buddy. I'm with you on that. Nice one. Yeah, skinny boy. Oh, he's got he's big long and thin and gold. Yeah. yeah. It's a gold looking son of a gun. Look how skinny he is. I know, he's oh, thin. Oh, he's not bad. Oh, buddy. It's a log fish. Eh? Oh, my God. Look at that. You ain't going to get him yet. <laughs> no, no. He's green. I'm just getting uh, rested up for him. Oh, big old gator mouth. Look at his mouth at him. Yeah, that's nice. Is he well pinned? I hope so, dude, because I have no idea. Oh, my God. It's yeah. a big fish. You know what? Yeah. You get yeah. in there pretty good? Yeah, I was going to say, you know, he doesn't have it at all. Yeah, he looks like it. he's got his chomp but, on the side, doesn't he? But he's opened his mouth before, so if it wasn't... In, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's good. Nice fish, buddy. <laughs> might uh, have been the one that just missed me. Yeah, might, might have been. been. Yeah. Well, there he's he going to be a while yet. He's doing what he's supposed he's to do. He's going to be a while. Back out again. Oh, there he is right there. Get some weeds in his face. It'll slow oh, down. that's good. Look at that fish. He's nice a looking a thin body. fish. Though. He's got a big head. Boy, I'll tell you, that body ever filled out. Oh, yeah. Woo! Man. That's a nice looking pike. Look at the back on him though. Yeah, yeah, as thin yeah, as he is, yeah, he's got yeah. a good gator back. Okay, but he's, you know what, he's, do you want to try him? Yeah, no, bring him around. He's hooked pretty good. Let's have a look. You're not going to grab him? Come on. We ought to grab him out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. All right. Hoo, hoo, hoo. There. You got him? Yep. So bad. Look at that baby. Oh, he got you, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Hey. Look at that thing. Nice pike. <laughs> That's a strong fish right Boy, there. Well, that fish puts on another few pounds yep. eh, later on in the summer. Ooh. Oh, man. Baby. Today's hot spot is a small cut off the Attawapiskat River. The waypoint on your screen will take you there. After the spawn, big northerns seek areas like these to both rest and feed. Try giant tubes like the one Anz was throwing, swim baits like I was using, or more traditional baits like spoons and spinners. Be sure to use a leader. These big predators will slice through your line like butter. For more hotspots like this one, check out our website. To get to Pym Island, we took Highway 400 north to Highway 11 all the way to Hearst. From there, we traveled west on Highway 11 for 16 miles to Hearst Air's Cary Lake base. We finally boarded a flow plane and enjoyed a scenic 200-mile flight to Pym Island Camp. Fish in Canada, brought to you in part by Stearns, the life jacket experts. Ram trucks, nothing works harder than a ram. Castrol, more than just oil, it's liquid engineering and U.S. Real, when performance means everything.